What's up guys, this is Lloyd Milligan, and today I'm bringing you a dual commentary with my buddy Joe. Uh, say what's up, Joe. What's up everybody, this is Joe the Dentist, how's everybody doing? So uh, today we're bringing you a game of uh, doubles, domination, this is a game battles match, this is the default ladder setting, and uh, we're playing on radiation. So uh, yeah, this is actually our very first uh, game battles doubles match. And uh, this was the second game, is that right? Yeah, this was the second game. The first game uh, was on Crisis, and it was uh, fairly close. I think we won by like 15 or 20, but, um, you know, that map's so big, it was, uh, you know, they, they were just camping it up, and we were trying to get the triple cap a little too much, I think, on that first match, so it kind of got kind of got spread out a little much, and I think we played this one a lot better and uh, took advantage of the fact that these guys were not running Ninja Pro, so they were uh, clomping around pretty good. It was uh, easy for me to uh, hear where they were coming from, and, you know, it's just another benefit of a good headset. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Uh, speaking of, I wanted to bring up one of the things I wanted to talk about is you mentioned the triple cap, and uh, uh, you mentioned it as, as a bad thing, and, and obviously it can be a bad thing, but that was actually one of the hardest things that I have to get used to with doubles is going for that triple cap it's it's uh sort of against my nature you know yeah the triple cap is it was pretty much so far i mean of the games that we played and you know from talking to people it sounds like you know the doubles domination is all about the triple cap um you know the spawns are kind of set i expected the spawns for doubles to be a lot uh, a lot more different i expected uh, them to be a lot more erratic but I mean, it pretty much follows the same spawn pattern as, as a 6v6 does for the most part. So with the triple cap, like, for example, on the, on this map right here, we, we do end up getting a triple cap. Um, and they still spawn in, in propane in the warehouse. So uh, it's the same thing that happens if you're playing a 6v6 or, you know, a regular pub match. They, they continue to spawn there. So it's pretty easy to uh, tell where they're coming from. They're pretty much going to avoid... They're they're not going to go for B at that point. They're going to be running to A or C, and then basically just have a, have guys underneath uh, in the B dom area, and you can pick up each flag on A or C. So, and, and really the biggest thing that I've noticed with the triple cap is it's like a constant UAV basically, because your natural reaction when you're being triple capped is when you spawn in is to immediately go for the flag that's closest to you, and basically all that does is tell the other team exactly where you're at. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, I think that um, in uh, in doubles, the tendency is to like panic a little bit, and and it's you know at least with me, that's kind of what I've noticed. Whenever we get triple capped, you know, you you feel like you have to make something happen. Really, the thing to do is kind of take it slow and try and get a kill. I mean, it's all about it's all about winning gunfights. I guess that sounds obvious, but. Uh, you know, in, in uh, pub matches, that doesn't, it's not necessarily the case. You can kind of overpower flags without winning gun gunfights. But, uh, yeah, I found in doubles, it's sort of take your time, win a gunfight, then get the flag. Don't, don't you know, do it the opposite way. Yeah, because um, once you get that, once you, once you get that kill on, um, you know, on, on whichever flag that you're taking or whatever area of the map you're in, you're going to force their spawn back to a different area. They're not going to be able to spawn directly on you or be in the area of the flag that you're trying to cap. So, um, you, you know, winning that gunfight first, you know, maybe touching the flag and then setting up for, for the guy coming to defend uh, would be a good strategy. So, but but I, I'm with you definitely. You get that panicky. Oh no, we're triple capped. Let's uh, let's go full bore let's and, and to get, the flag, we gotta get yeah. points. Right, and that's what happens. I mean, that's what happened in our second match, and uh, you know we'll be posting that up. Um, we did end up losing that. Sorry, spoiler alert. But uh, <laughs> you know it, it it'll be uh, it'll be interesting for you guys to see. And you know they they just pretty much played more way more patient than we did, and it's some it was really a good learning experience for sure. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I wanted to uh, just kind of describe what we're doing. We're 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 beginners. Uh, certainly, with uh, doubles, we're beginners. We played some game battles in, uh, as we said uh, in our last dual com in Modern Warfare 2, but we haven't played too much in Black Ops. And so, what we're trying to do here is kind of show you guys uh, the perspective of beginners. And uh, so, we're we're learning right along with you guys. And uh, one of the things we're going to focus on, and as you mentioned, we're going to be uploading that array game. We're going to be focusing on spawns because that's pretty much the most important thing to know. The, the, that's the 
uh, best bit of information that you can learn uh, and try and gain an advantage in doubles is when you kill the enemies, where are they going to spawn? When you die, where are you going to spawn? And the sp as you said, the spawns are, are actually pretty rigid. Like I, I think even more than in pubs. Like you know, yeah, well, you know pretty much yeah, where they're going to spawn. Yeah, because with with pubs you have a lot more people, and you know they they have those negative influencers that that can force spawn elsewhere. Um, with doubles, you don't have as m that as much negative influence or to the spawn choice um, when you get a kill because there's only two guys on the map. So um, you know it does make the spawns a lot more rigid, and uh, you know it does. That's a, I totally agree with you. Learning the spawns and and knowing where they're going to come from at all times is is the biggest biggest uh, piece of information that you can have. Yeah, and I think that um, especially like we were talking about with the triple caps, I think. Like you said, on this map, you tend to, to spawn by, by the propane tanks in that warehouse on uh, Array, which we'll show you uh, in our next video, it, you spawn by the satellite. And so uh, just knowing that information, I think, can, can you know, give you a huge advantage when, when playing someone, you know, especially if they don't yeah. know the spawns. Yeah, definitely. And, uh, y you know, it, it, like we getting back to the triple cap thing and, and why it's so important, because it, it's so much easier to patrol the B dom area and then float to the flags that are being captured it's a lot easier than you know trying to hold two flags and predict where they're coming from because they're going to be flanking at that point um, you know they're going to be coming in behind you and it's it's just so, so much easier with the triple cap to be able to uh, to predict where they're coming from that and, dude and that sounds honestly that sounds so weird right like it really does every, yeah everything because, everything we've we've learned is that like you know, you give them one flag, that way you know they're coming from that area, but honestly, it's not the case with doubles. It's just there's too much map for them to negotiate, I think. Yeah, definitely. I agree. And, and you know, it, that's something that we're learning, and hopefully, uh, you know, it's, it stays true. So far, so good. Uh, the You know, I, I we've had two two matches we I've played with you, and uh, me and Doc have played a couple matches together, and, you know, it seems pretty much the same, uh, same type of stuff, same type of scenario with the spawn, so... Yeah, I think yeah, uh, actually, I, I think highlighting I that hi highlighting that will be uh, really beneficial for you know people that are getting into it and learning and you know just f overall because for us. the spawn yeah, yeah uh, the spawns are you know even if even if you don't decide to play game battles or you don't want to do anything like that uh, you know even in pubs the, the spawns are going to be there for you to uh, to learn from for sure for sure actually one other thing I was saying like I was watching uh, you and Doc's matches and. Um, I think what I what I picked up from that is cutting off the the, the respawns. Like on Array, for example, you'd jump on uh, the beat on flag, and then Doc would move forward and try and get them on the respawn. And we didn't do any of that, obviously, and we probably should, probably should have. Yeah. So it looks like our game here is wrapping up, and we're going to run over as usual because we like to talk <laughs> a lot. So uh, <laughs> I just wanted to, uh, for those of that have. Uh, hung around to the end. I want to throw out that we have passed 250 subs, which is awesome. Go, you guys. Woo Thanks for subbing. <laughs> Thanks for subbing. Thanks for liking. Thumbs up the videos. Um, we are going to do a open lobby for you guys, and um, I've already talked to Holiday Doc and um, QP25 uh, is also going to participate. RA Noob, who has uh, made, been made famous through uh, Doc's videos as well. But uh, we're going to do an open lobby. Infamous. And, uh, yeah, infamous. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we're gonna, we're gonna do an open lobby and, and uh, we're gonna invite our subs to come play. You know, we're just gonna mess around, maybe run some scrims at first, and then just do some silly stuff at the end. But uh, I think it'll be a good time. So uh, we'll put out a video when that's about to happen, so you guys know what yeah. to do to uh, to get a hold of us and and to get into the lobby. But uh, otherwise, thanks for watching. Yeah, if you're interested in that, just leave a comment. And we'll we'll start to get a list, and like we, like Joe said, we'll put out another video kind of describing uh, when it's going to be and whatnot soon so uh yeah sorry as, as you were saying uh thanks for watching comment rate subscribe guys and uh see you later yep take it easy peace